Good morning and welcome to day four of my lockdown series. Today we're going to try and do a bit of leg work, so we're going to do some plyometric based drills, still using the football and some dribbling and stuff as well, so I'm looking forward for this one. Let's get straight into the video. So. We start off with a 5-10 to 10 minute warm up as usual, I won't show you all my warm up but if you do want a video on that please let me know in the description and I'll make a video which shows my full warm up routine. But I'll just show you a few for now. So then getting into the, this is like my kind of warm up uh, drill, it's juggling so we're going to do 100 alternate with both feet with a tennis ball, 100 with the left foot, and a, no, 50 with the left foot and 50 with the right foot. I have got a full video on this uh, which is unedited and I'll put the link in the top right corner and you can check that out for the full video. So we'll then move on to 100 juggles with both feet but now we're on to the football and honestly the ball feels so big compared. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far, but the best is yet to come. So now you can see that we're doing 50 with the right foot after the 50 with the left foot. So let's get into the first dribble and drill. Uh, this is the setup, as you can see, it's a bit of a zigzag, probably about two, three yards. Uh, going either way and then we're going to a corn weave just screenshot this to see the drill so you can do it at home so we start off with some plyometric skater jumps and then we do some uh, fast feet shuffling in between the cones we then pick up the ball at the other side uh, dribble through the corn weave and then do the zigzags and then that is one rep done you can then dribble the ball back or you can juggle the ball back which I do later on and then walk back and that's your rest time so as you can see this is another rep I did three reps of each type of skater jump as you'll see there is two more types of skater jumps to come but yeah that's the drill so obviously you can now see me doing the juggling instead of the uh, just dribbling it back just because I think it's a bit more good use of my time. Now we move on into right footed skater jumps. We do this because we in a game sometimes lift off one foot and we sometimes land on the same foot again so it's just game realistic and then we get the rest and recovery in on the way back. and we go again so right foot again obviously I'm not showing you a wall because you get the idea by the time you've seen it a couple of times and yeah it's really good it all incorporates different types of dribbling different types of fast feet uh, your plyometrics your explosiveness your juggling it's just an all-round really really good drill and let me know what you think of it so here we are, still on the right foot, just last one for you to see and a little turn there for you. Quick feet through, do the zigzag, messed up but recovered, you got to improvise, it's not always going to be perfect in a game. So then I'm doing the juggling as usual, in case you're not bored of that already. And that is that. And now we move on into the skater jumps with the left foot, so that's just the same. Uh, quick feet and round, and you know the rest. Surely you know the drill by now. So what I'll do is I'll leave you watching this until I get into the next part of the training session.
like I say, screenshot this so you can do it in your own time. It'll just remind you of what we are doing. So let's move into the plyometric workout. There's seven exercises and this will really help to improve your explosiveness on the pitch. So we start off with 10 alternating jumping lunges and I use the ball just as a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a guide really just to keep your body straight. We then move into the jumping squat as you can see and we did 10 reps of both of these. We then move into lateral bounce, oh that's what I'm calling it, I don't know if that's its official name. I use the ball just as a guide again, just some, as something to jump over and it works pretty well. Try and get speed and yeah. We now go into single leg Romanian deadlifts with the right leg. These are perceivably, is that the right word? Basically they're harder than they look. It's mainly focusing on your balance. I don't know whether I was on an uneven bit of grass but I honestly really struggled with this as you can see. But it's really good for the hamstring and your stability in the leg in general. As you can see I'm struggling. So then we've finished the ones with the right leg, let's move on into the left leg. We do 10 with each and I think my left leg is a bit better stability and balance than my right. I think this is because that's my standing leg because I'm right footed. So obviously when I'm taking a shot or making a pass, it's my left foot what's doing all the balance and the hard work really when you think about it. So I think that's why it's a bit better than my right for stability and balance. We now then go into single leg jumps with the right foot and again my right was a lot less balanced and stability and the power weren't as good as you'll see my, on my left is much better and I think that's for the same reason again like look how much more smooth that is compared so make sure you check these out these are good your legs will be burning afterwards but that's the whole point of doing the exercise I then finished the session off with just a bit of whatever I wanted really a bit of that and a bit of footwork and yeah that's the end of the session. The rest of the video is just basically what I did. Well, I'll show you my lunch and what else I did in my spare time. It was a nice day, so I had a bit of a relax for the rest of the day. And that's absolutely fine. If you get the hard work done in the morning, then you can relax for the rest of the day and just eat healthy. So I'll leave you with the rest of the video. So then training wise that's going to be it today, my legs are pretty achy from the weeks of training so far and I've got a run to do tomorrow, probably going to do another 5 mile run tomorrow. So we pretty much did a leg workout with the plyometric stuff and then we did a bit of dribbling, a bit of ball work, just a bit of a warm up so not a bad little session but I'm going to get showered and stuff and have some lunch. So that's training done for the day. So Lauren? has made me some more lunch. We've got, what is it, sweet chilli, chicken wraps, mm -hmm. crisps, salad, smoothie, uh, yoghurt, banana, clementine, satsuma. <laughs> satsuma. So that's for lunch. Bit of badminton time. <laughs> so 
So then, time to have a bit of a read in the sun and relax. So then we're actually way into the future now. This is probably a couple of weeks later, but I'm absolutely useless at remembering to finish my videos. So I apologize for that, but thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And if you have, you know the drill, please like and subscribe for more and comment. I always reply to every single comment that I get. So no matter how stupid your comment might be, I'll reply, don't you worry about that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.